This video is for investigators looking to submit a new IRB application. Investigators can be faculty, staff, or students. Some undergraduate and master's students come from a department or a college where they have their own student research review committee that can approve exempt research. However, if your committee asks you to submit to the university IRB, you will want to submit through Cayuse IRB. So investigators will click the link and sign in using their SACLink username and password, and it will take them to their Cayuse IRB dashboard. To start a new study, you will click New Study, enter a study title, click the checkbox, add a new submission, which will be initial, and now we've started a form. Your next step is to start completing that form by either clicking Edit or going to your required tasks. A PC is a primary contact and this will most likely be the investigator because this person needs to receive all communication from the IRB. So let's go ahead and complete this application. As you complete the application and answer the questions, you'll notice that some sections will pop up and it might be section 1, 2, and 4 or it'll jump to section 5 and that's okay. The application is creating itself based on how you respond to the questions. So let's go ahead and assign ourselves as the primary contact and you can search using your first name or your last name. Click the plus and click save. And you'll notice that some questions have a red asterisk and those are required. I'm going to fill out these questions to the best of my ability. Before I can move on, some questions will have a little question mark right here. And if you click that, it provides a little more information for you to help you complete the application. Once you've completed all required questions, you'll see that complete submission pops up. If you're ready to submit and you don't need to review this any further, go ahead and complete the submission. Confirm that you want to continue and it takes you back to submission details. Your next step would be to give it one last look over, return it to yourself if you find that you need to make some edits, or move forward and certify. By clicking certify, you're signing the application. You can track the progress of your application and the review process by viewing the bar at the top under your submission details, or you can view the task history to see where your application lies. Lastly, the IRB will be sending you a receipt notification once it's received by the IRB, and you should be hearing from us soon.